Most entitlement. Entitlement is on the opposite scale of self-love. It is about a poor self-image and about powerlessness. And those that feel they have a right to something, they often don't take action towards that thing. They're like passively sitting by, expecting other people to bring it to them, regardless of those people want it or not. And part of good parenting is to teach a child the empowerment and skills of meeting their own needs. It's critical that children learn the connection between putting forth energy and seeing the return. In other words, making an effort and actually seeing success. And if our parents never help us to figure out how to do the thing that we want to meet our own needs independently of our parents and independently of, of them doing it for us, so their needs and wants won't be completely dependent on other people. Otherwise we'll run into this issue as adults where we, we will throw fits and tantrums, but in the form of manipulation. Like playing the victim or seeking out people with poor boundaries that they can leech off of. Those people with um, weak boundaries, they believe they have to earn love and that that they, in order to get emotional support or connection only comes as a support of them providing something. They have weak boundaries and they don't believe they can get anything without giving. And they're a perfect match to those that feel entitled to be provided for no matter what. So entitlement is not self-love. At its root, there's a subconscious belief of one's incapability which is negative self-focus. So this behavior hurts other people, which ultimately helps, helps the people that have entitlement complex tend to be the last people on earth that recognize it within themselves. They're going to be the kind of people give and give and give and give to other people. And they never have to have that. They never have enough for themselves. And they're also the kind of people that notice everyone else's self-centeredness. And because the ego cannot stand the idea that it's not special, the ego uses it as a coffer for the unconscious truth of itself. And for the ego to admit that the self leeches off of others, it would immediately see itself as bad. And it would have to recognize that it isn't inherently more special than anyone else. And the ego can't handle that reality. So without support of genuine love and unconditional presence. It's a conscious state of disappointment because other people focus on themselves whilst you might think they should be focusing on you. They're not capitalizing in your best interest 24 hours a day and thinking about themselves instead. You're going to be disappointed in them all the time. And taking responsibility for your own life is the exact opposite state of victimhood. And how do you do this? And self-absorption is you you go into that feeling. Imagine something is going fantastically well for someone else. They have everything they want. That feeling that you then get, you dive into the the core of that, like what, what emotion comes up. So that can be through parts work or completion process, inner child's work, IFS, internal family systems. There's lots of ways to follow that emotion down to the core um, belief. Good luck.